business school. Our homework consisted of having to run a lot of numbers. What I would write at home, my homework may be wrong and uh, people on the blackboard would erase numbers and put new numbers up and I started saying, oh, if only I had a magic blackboard. I had my TI business analyst calculator and I was sitting in a class with, um, uh, with many other people and I would sit there uh, sort of daydreaming a bit and said, if only this had like a head up display so I could see like a, a screen in front of me, kind of like Google Glass or something. And imagine it had a ball on the back of it like a mouse and I could put a number in and another number and I could look you straight in the face and say, yeah, 10% would be okay because I could do my calculation. I could type new numbers in and have it recalculate. That was my vision. And then the hard part was how to turn that vision into a real program. The challenge was, could I take these ideas and implement them in a 16K? Fortunately, a floppies became available in time. The original version, we supported cassette tapes for storage, which would have been just a pain, but it did work. It did work. I would work at night because computer time was cheaper at night. We were using a time-sharing system. We had to pay for the time-sharing time. Oh, time. Uh, unlike, so uh, unlike some it's other, cheaper at night, yeah, much cheaper. Uh, unlike some Harvard students who got into trouble for using the computers to write a basic program, won't mention names, we actually paid up front for it. <laughs> One of the names Dan had come up with was Electroledger. And Calcul Calculedger. Calculedger. The problem I had with Perm Ledger is nobody outside finance would know what a ledger is. But it was a visible calculator the way I thought of it. So it was obvious that visible calculator, VisiCalc, when Apple was going to go public, they couldn't go public until I found the last bug in the Apple III VisiCalc. So I was yeah. trying to find this bug and they were waiting. <laughs> this is a very interesting time because <laughs> Bob was working on the Apple III VisiCalc. And the Apple III was the new Apple, the first business version of the Apple they were going to do. And Apple was holding off going public. The I, product, I, I don't have a direct proof, but... The, it seemed really weird that as soon as we okayed the shipment, when Bob, we finally okayed the shipment, the next day they actually went public. One of the things that historically surprised me was when I was doing VisiCal, one of the things we thought about was when somebody going to copy this and do it. What is amazing is how many years it took for somebody to basically do a good copy of it. You need to be able to use what you had before and move it forward. And luckily for us, um, the files that were used for VisiCalc could be read by 123. Lotus made sure they could read them. And then uh, Microsoft, when they did Excel, made sure Excel could read the files that came from 123. So there is a path all the way through, which is kind of cool. In 1982, January 1982, here's Bob and me on the cover of Inc. Magazine, okay? And inside, uh, there's there are pictures of, um, you know, other people in the computer business. Let's see. The birth of a new industry. And there you can see uh, Mr. Filestra over here, and you can see Bill Gates and people like that, okay? And inside is, you know, us. Fortune magazine, this is a little earlier, June of 1981. Here's, you know, Bob and me in here. This is the first time in a major business public, or actually any business publication, not a computer publication, the spreadsheet, electronic spreadsheet was mentioned. That's not when I knew we made it. The cover of a magazine does not mean success. That means oddity or something like that, yes. right? It means something unusual. Having some business people think it's a thing they don't know about, that's not making it. Making it is when everybody does know about it. So for me, it was when I opened up the Wall Street Journal one day and in the editorial section, it said, there's this new budget coming out from Reagan or something. And it said, all over Washington, VisiCalc spreadsheets and yellow ledger pads are being used to figure out what it means. It was assumed that you knew what VisiCalc was. That for me was the moment when I understood we had really made it. We got really close to our calculators. It, we just lived by these things, okay? Because all the cases were built, so you needed to do calculators. I got so close to mine that for Halloween, I came dressed up 
as a TI business analyst calculator.